¿Cuál es el que más The contrast seems hard to reconcile. These young Colombian school children learning hands-on about preserving the environment, while in their town, bullet holes and rubble still remind people about the day armed guerrillas attacked the police station. In fact, people here believe that what they've done to restore the environment in the watershed of the Cauca River is helping put the guerrillas out of business. Es lo del orden público. Los mmm, agricultores pueden estar muy animados con un trabajo y de un momento a otro una toma, una amenaza, lo que ocurre siempre baja los ánimos. Entonces lo que se ha hecho por mucho tiempo declina, ¿cómo se dice? Sí, baja la guardia y toca volver como a inyectar ese positivismo, como a trabajar en aquello de que Intensive agriculture in the Cauca watershed transformed what used to be a forest landscape. At the lower end of the valley, massive sugar plantations use vast amounts of water. At the upper end, poor farmers cut trees for firewood and cleared the land for crops. Soil washed away and people gave up. Many groups tried to help, but with so many conflicting agendas they accomplished little. Then, in 1993, most of the groups were convinced to pool their resources in a consortium to work for the common good. Luz Rosas, a farmer who's volunteered to teach the children as well, says that's made all the difference. Hay bastante conciencia ya, y y por lo menos pues se nota, ¿no? Ya creo que ustedes lo aprecian porque aquí es una vereda bastante de, de bastante población de árboles y los nacimientos de agua, la mayoría están como el que vimos allá abajo, todos, porque aquí los tenemos censados a los nacimientos de agua. Y ya todos tienen su tratamiento, su adecuación, se les ha hecho aislamiento. One of the architects of the coalition is SIAT, the International Center for Tropical Agriculture. Its work in the region is funded by Canada's International Development Research Center. We were coming from the assumption that poor farmers in these very uh, underprivileged and impoverished agricultural systems would really not be worrying about the future. They would just be trying to make it from one day to the next. Instead, they planted trees, established ecological buffer zones, and started to restore their valley. Jose Garcia calls this small plot his piece of heaven. Like so many of his neighbors, he's doing his part to raise everyone's awareness about the importance of preserving the land. Three years ago, he built a radio station in his dining room, and now, 20,000 people listen every day to Siberia Verde Stereo, Green FM. It's a phenomenon. It's good that at the moment that the emission started, the forest started to be destroyed, the people started to plant a lot more trees, and we started to fix any kind of schools too, because they mixed the work of the emission with the emission para mejorar todo lo del municipio, las escuelas, las iglesias, los ríos. The consortium that provides the technical base for all the work is called Cipasla. What it's accomplished in five years has been to restore both the environment and people's pride. And what I feel I'm experiencing in these situations is people are building an asset, which is the capacity to work together and generate success. And that's very inspiring to me. Si Pazla, sin ser en este momento la solución a todo, es la suma de todo lo pequeño bien hecho. Entonces todo lo que se haga convencido desde el inicio, con la participación de las comunidades del momento, la idea tiene que resultar. The work the farmers and community groups are doing here has shown that improving crop yield and production is not the only way to improve the quality of people's lives. In fact, it may not even be the best. Maintaining and preserving important natural resources for everyone today and in the future counts for just as much. For the Canadian Farm, I'm David Mowbray in Pescador, Colombia.